What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. When it comes to selling in WWE, there are a few people you think of automatically. You think of The Rock, you think of HBK, you think of uh, Triple H, and especially in the modern era, you think of Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler is probably one of the best sellers in WWE. The way he sells is fantastic. He makes you look like you literally killed him. And that's what it is, you know, that's part of being a good wrestler. You know, being able to make your opponent look as good as well. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to no sell because then it kind of takes away from your opponent's moveset. And the thing about Dolph Ziggler, in my opinion, early in his career well not early in his career but like when he started really gaining steam uh he definitely had some main of uh, main event potential it's just wwe wasn't really trying to push him and once he had got injured when he won the uh world heavyweight championship that was it wwe wasn't trying to push him like that he's great on the mic great has a great uh move set he's great at selling he he's good as a face or a heel better as a heel like he's a overall all around like main event wrestler but wwe really dropped the ball with him but when it comes to his selling he is fantastic so we're gonna check this out man appreciate all the love and support road to 20k let's get it <laughs> look at that bro you can't that's that's great selling right there. Oh, yo! Look at that, man! Bro, that is the rotation he gets off of that, bro. He's Jesus. <laughs> Easy. Look at that, bro. He just sells so beautifully. Like, like he looks like he's died. Oh. There it is. Plus, you know, he got the got the blonde hair, so every time he gets hit, he starts flopping, the hair start going all over the place. Bro, he's fantastic solo. Oh, oh god damn. That was nice. Look at this. Who remembers Zack Ryder and his push, man? Damn. WWE screwed him over big time. He got over on for YouTube. Then he started getting a push. He started getting a lot of love. They gave him, uh, I believe, the United States Championship. And then after that, they just they didn't care. They put him in a feud with... Uh, was it like if he had like a love triangle with uh it was some WWE diva at the time. Was it I'm not sure. I think it was Eve. Correct me if I'm wrong, but basically he's in a love triangle with I think Eve and John Cena. They they literally killed his push. That shit was that was messed up, man. Uh, man, Zack Ryder had had the potential of being like a, a real good mid carter. Oh, he's so funny. Man. This. <laughs> the facial expression, bro. He just he just flops like a goddamn like he just flops like a, a crash dummy. Look at that. Just well. <laughs> Oh 
Oh, jeez. That was a good pedigree. That was a good pedigree. I think uh, Seth Rollins was yeah Seth Rollins was a heel at this at this time, and uh, he was this is when he was a face. I think this was when the authority was a thing, and at Survivor Series, I want to say it was Team Cena versus Team. Authority and Dolph Ziggler was the last man standing. Of course, Sting got involved, but he was the guy that helped pretty much get rid of the authority. And you thought they was going to give him another push. Because if you think about it, booking that, he's the last man standing for the Survivor Series match. You got to push him. They didn't push him. Like the crowd was getting behind him. It was a mate. I'll never forget that. It was a major pop. He won for Team Cena. And the authority was gone. They was disbanded. And for a little bit. It was like a month or something like that. And then they they never really went anywhere with that. They should have started pushing him. Because he was white hot again. And they just they didn't do nothing with it. Oh, oh he sold that. Oh, yeah. You know he's going to sell that bro kick. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> Bro, it's the way he flops. He flops. He just start flopping. Cody Rhodes right off the temple. Looking for the GTS to go to sleep. There we go. Go to sleep. Yo, he sold that GTS. God damn. Ooh. No. Look at this. Watch this. Watch this. That looks like it hurt. I'm not going to lie to you. Ooh. Oh, okay. He got folded in midair. That was a nice. That was a nice one. Look at this. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Wow. Lower leg of his. Oh, okay. Now, that one was nice. He jumped into it. That one was a nice one. That one was a nice one. Oh, there we go. It seems like when people hit their finisher on him, it looks so much like it looks like they hit it, and it's in a combination of the way he's selling it. It looks deadly not everybody that takes someone else's finisher like prime example sometimes john cena when he takes a finisher it doesn't look that clean but with Dolph, all these finishers i've seen and all these power moves it looks like he just got killed oh my. that's what you call being a a, a, a good wrestler bro. making someone's move oh my jesus Making someone's move look deadly as hell. That's. Look at that. Oh, that was nice. Give me that. Every time. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> yeah, someone's calling me right now. I'm going to call them back. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> Oh no, we gotta go back. We gotta go back. That that's definitely a wasted moment right there. He threw him up, let him come back down, and then hit him. That was nice. That was nice. That was nice. I'm fucking with that one. Yeah, man. Dolph Ziggler, fantastic seller, man. Uh it just sucks, like I said at the beginning of the video. He didn't really get the push that he deserved to get, unfortunately. Um, I don't think he ever will, to be honest with you. Dolph Ziggler run is is pretty much it. I 
it doesn't matter what championship he wins it doesn't matter at this point because no one really cares about his character i honestly do think when he had the chance to leave wwe he should have he should have only because to make his make a name for himself like john moxley he left you know what i'm saying aka dean ambrose but he left and now he's made a name for himself that's what i wanted for Dolph, because he deserves to be a main event guy it's just they wwe doesn't have faith in them you feel me and it, it sucks and as as us fans we just don't care no more There's so many times you can push someone and then de push them or bury them bury them into oblivion it's no point but when it comes to selling he is definitely the king of selling in the new era of wrestling but comment down below who do y'all think is like the best seller of all time i'm gonna go with hbk i think hbk is one of the best he knows how to sell the rock was good too but i i don't know man the rock was really good at selling too i'm not gonna lie ah, i don't know man I'm, I'm gonna go with hbk hbk he was just he was really fantastic at selling and he he knew how to make your move like your move set look deadly but the rock for me is a close second so comment down below who do y'all think is the best seller in wwe of all time i want to know i want to get y'all opinions but i appreciate all the love and support road to 20k you already know appreciate y'all kicking it with me see y'all next one peace